Good morning. Well, we've had some windy days and we've had some not so windy days. Anybody that was here yesterday saw that we had some balloons that we lost in the trees, but they're gone this morning if you hadn't noticed, so they went on up. We don't tree know what happened. Them. Tree heaven? Tree oh, tree, oh, tree ate them. <laughs> okay. Well, today I'm going to talk about can you sleep while the wind blows? Can you sleep when the wind blows? Years ago, a farmer owned land along the Atlantic seacoast. He constantly advertised for hired hands. Most people were reluctant to work on farms along the Atlantic. They dreaded the awful storms that raged across the Atlantic, wreaking havoc on the buildings and crops. As the farmer interviewed applicants for the job, he received a steady stream of refusals. Finally, a short, thin man, well past middle age, approached the farmer. Are you a good farmhand, the farmer asked him. Well, I can sleep when the wind blows, the man answered. Although puzzled by this answer, the farmer was desperate for help and he hired him. The little man worked well around the farm, busy from dawn to dusk, and the farmer felt satisfied with the man's work. Then one night, the wind howled loudly in from offshore. Jumping out of bed, the farmer grabbed a lantern and rushed next door to the hired man's sleeping quarters. He shook the little man awake and yelled, Get up! Get up! A storm is coming! Tie things down before they blow away. The little man rolled over in bed and said firmly, No, sir, I told you, I can sleep when the wind blows. Enraged by the response, the farmer was tempted to fire him on the spot. Instead, he hurried outside to prepare for the storm. To his amazement, he discovered that all the haystacks had been covered with tarps. The cows were in the barns, the chickens were in the coops, the doors were barred, the shutters were tightly secured, everything was tied down. Nothing could blow away. The farmer then understood what his hired hand meant, so he returned to his bed to also sleep while the wind blew. And the moral of the story is, when you're prepared spiritually, mentally, and physically, you have nothing to fear. Can you sleep when the wind blows through your life? The hired hand in this story was able to sleep because he had secured the farm against the storm. We secure ourselves against the storms of life by grounding ourselves in the word of God. We don't need to understand. We just need to hold his hand to have peace in the middle of the storms. Amen. Thank you.